Hello, today I'm going to show off some of the powerful new features introduced with firmware revision 6.4 for our performance oscilloscopes, specifically the integration of MATLAB with Math Waveforms. This feature gives the powerful computational and graphing capabilities that MATLAB offers fast access to waveform data provided by the oscilloscope. In order to use these features, you need one of the listed oscilloscope models with firmware revision 6.4 or newer. MATLAB with the instrument control toolbox needs to be installed on the oscilloscope as well as any other toolboxes that your script will use. With the new firmware there is a change to the math setup menu which adds a drop down box to load custom created functions as math waveforms. The question mark icon provides data about what these plugins are and the file structure for where they're located. Some example scripts are provided with the firmware including the waterfall plot we saw earlier or a 10 to 96 megahertz bandpass filter. For this exercise, I started with the filter script, but rather than hard coding what the filter type and critical frequencies were, I modified the script to read these values from a text file. For simplification, it will do high pass or low pass filters only, with one critical frequency listed. This gives me a way to interactively control what the filter type being applied to my waveform is. The script checks if the file has changed, and if it has, it creates a new filter based on the updated values. From here, I could use Notepad or any other text editor to modify the file and change my filter. However, I wanted to have access to the filter control from inside the TechScope utility. So I wrote a small GUI using the application developer kit, which allows me to set the filter parameters and then update the filter. Now I'll apply a low pass filter at 1 MHz to our applied signal. The applied signal is a 1 MHz square wave. Looking at the FFT of the square wave, we know that it's constructed with odd harmonics. To show how the waveform would look if we start removing these harmonics, I change the critical frequency of my filter to several of these values. As the filter's parameters change, we see the resulting waveform update in the math waveform. Even though I'm using a short record length, you can see that the interaction between the MATLAB script and the math waveform is very fast. Thank you for watching this video. For more information about anything you've seen here, please contact us at techtronics.com/support.